How is it going, everybody? Thanks a lot for joining me for another review. Uh, about to watch the new House of Dragon episode and figured, um, you know what? Drink some mezcal while I do it. So we're going to be reviewing another mezcal from Derumbes. Um, yeah, just uh, over the last couple weeks, I've reviewed Zacatecas and Mexican. Uh, really enjoyed them and uh, very unique, different from what I'm used to in Mezcal, uh, especially the Zacatecas, more like a uh, tequila in flavor or like a uh, Ricea, something like that. But um, yeah, really cool. Moving on to the uh, San Luis Potosi today. Uh, really nice uh, artwork on there again. Uh, really dig their bottle and um, they got all the description and the process on the uh, back there of making their mezcal. Um, San Luis Potosi, I remember my grandpa was saying uh, that him and my grandma were uh, traveling around Mexico in their um, uh, fifth wheel or no motor home, I think, and uh, said they stopped by San Luis Potosi and he said he just loved that city um, as well as Zacatecas actually. And um, yeah, uh, I've got some relatives in uh, uh, Chihuahua and as well as I believe close by Merida. So they went down there back up. So lots of driving. <laughs> but um, yeah, let's move on to this guy. Uh, this one's made in Charcas, uh, San Luis Potosi, Mexico, which is in uh, um, central uh, Mexico, a state in central Mexico. It's, uh, I believe, right above Mexico State, so pretty cool. Uh, it's made by Maestro Mezcalero J. Manuel Perez. It's coming in at 44.1% alcohol by volume. Uh, it's lot 54 and bottle number 293 out of 900, so pretty small batch. Um, it was made in uh, April 2021, so pretty cool. Uh, the process on here, they're using Salmiana Megues or Agaves. Uh, it's uh, crushed or cooked in above ground stone with quiote. I forget what that is exactly. Tahona ground fermented with wild yeast in rocks or like a big rock tub kind of thing, uh, and distilled in copper. So there we go. Let's get it opened up and get it poured. Pouring it in my little mezcal copita there, or tasso. I forget the exact word for one of those. Um, yeah, pour in about an ounce and there we go. All right, let's get an aroma right away. Yeah. Out of the three, I'm gonna say right away is, I think this one is my personal favorite. It's just got the profile um, that I really look for in mezcals. It's lightly smoky, really peppery, really jalapeno-y, and it's got like this coffee aroma. There's a slight, like, uh, slight maybe blue cheese kind of thing going on in there. Queso Azul. Um, yeah. Really interesting, especially that, like, green coffee note. There's, like, a roasty kind of coffee in there, but as well this green kind of coffee. Uh, yeah. Really, really cool smell in mezcal. Let's get a sip on this guy. Salute. First sip, a little bit of alcohol on the lips and going down the throat, not a whole lot at all. It is a, uh, a little on the not weak side but it's not as strong as i'm used to in mezcal at 44 percent 
Um, that said, there is hardly any alcohol on the flavor. Um, <clears throat> Flavor-wise, I'm getting, yeah, coffee, jalapenos, poblanos, stuff like that. Uh, maybe some black pepper, some herbal notes, like maybe a slight mint, something like that going on in there. Um, just really interesting. Uh, the uh, funky, cheesy kind of note isn't quite as strong on the flavor. It is there, but not a whole lot. There's a sweetness to it. Uh, almost like a icing sugar kind of sweetness. Um, maybe, yeah, icing sugar, something like that. Ooh. Starting to pick up like a... Uh, milk chocolate kind of thing. The coffee mixed with that uh, like icing sugar kind of flavor kind of gives it like a mocha kind of vibe. Um, cappuccino kind of thing. Really good. Um, really dig this one. Uh, granted, I like the really peppery, uh, spicy kind of mezcals. Um, which... I forget uh, which Oaxacan Magay, I, Magay that I get it from. Um, tepestate. Tepestate, I often get that. I sometimes get it from uh, Sierra Negra as well. So, um, yeah. Really good. Really dig this one. Yeah, and it's like a long lingering flavor, but not overwhelming. Um, it's, it's a lightness um, to the mezcal. It's like breathes easy. It's not super smoky. There is a little bit of smokiness to it, um, but yeah, I really dig it. This is a really, really good mezcal. Um, yeah. Sweet. I might have to visit San Luis Potosi sometime and check out the uh, mezcaleros out there and uh, yeah, go on some mezcal tours, stuff like that would be fun. I also want to go down to uh, Puebla sometime and check out uh, the um, mezcal in southern Puebla. Um, nor I think right on the border of Oaxaca, there's a few really cool uh, Palenques, I think that's what you call them, Palenques, that I, I wouldn't mind seeing, but yeah. My first Mezcal from San Luis Potosi, total hit in my opinion. Uh, yeah, I'd go straight up. Uh, I'd have to say like A minus, like a high A minus, verging on an A. It's just really, really good. Uh, really dig it. Um, just delicious. It's something I can just sip and sip and sip. Um, yeah. Really cool. Cocktail-wise, I think this would be the perfect thing to make an old-fashioned out of. Add some mole bitters, a little bit of agave nectar, and some, like, ancho reyes there. Um, uh, verde liqueur, a poblano liqueur. I think those flavors together would make just a badass old fashioned. Um, so I think I might make one of those um, for the new episode of House of Dragons. If you guys have watched that, let me know what y'all think of it. I've been digging it. Last episode, I didn't really care for as much, but really cool characters. I like the character development and stuff, but yeah. There we go. Let me know what y'all think of Mezcal de Rumbes, their San Miguel, or San Miguel, San Luis Potosi Mezcal, or any of their other Mezcals. I still have their Durango, their uh, uh, Oaxaca, and the Tamaul Tamaulipas uh, to um, review. I would like to... Uh, get a hold of them maybe when i'm back from mexico i'll pick some up in the city um going in three weeks i think yeah so pretty rad I'm excited for that 
um yeah so there we go thanks a lot for watching everybody please give me a like comment and subscribe and till the next time salute